all right um welcome back in the previous video we downloaded and installed trip edits in this particular video we are going to go into trip edit which we downloaded and i'm going to show you how to navigate the terminal okay let me go back so i'll go to trip edit look at it trip edit i tap on it it's open Okay, this is Trip Edit, the mobile um, text editor that we downloaded. All right, when you come here, you see menu. You can play with it. This is the menu. You click on it, close, open. All right, then you can see Learn to Code, Get Source Code, Workspace, and Text Editor. All right, so. Uh, let's just um, look through all of these um, Like I said, this is the menu you can close and open it then go and touch um learn to code I click on it See learn to code want to quickly ask or remember when it is done um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP. I think they are affiliated uh, Trevor edit is affiliated with wtreschools.com You know this uh, reputable um source to always get uh, you know if inform any information you need regarding coding or programming all right so i think you need internet to do this you just connect and this one will take you to um wtreschools.com so let's go back get source code let's just try that get source code okay what this does is that if you enter um any uh, website you can remember that is um, coded mean that is you know that was coded you enter the 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 uh, the what do you call the username here the web address rather and tap on go then it's going to extract the code the source code that in which that site was built Okay, then what space? This simply is this where you do all the work you need to do on this app. All right, this where you do all the work. You can see some of our previous, just a few of them tutorial, HTML. These are just a few things I've done on this app. Okay, then you have sample uh, project. This sample project, Acme, is a sample that was designed by this. The builders of this application, this mobile app, they designed this. If you go here, you see um, CSS and all that. It's a very beautiful uh, stuff they did here because if I click this index.html, open this are the code they use for this sample project. They did it themselves, the builder of this app. Okay, if I go and you see very beautiful project which they created as a sample all right let's go back so that's that then text editor text editor simply is some of the projects you have uh, worked on so you can come here you can just navigate to some of the projects you can flip through them and check them Read time as you open the text editor as you are opening maybe you want to make changes to that project all right so that is just basically what you do here okay but majorly like i said this workspace is where you you know really need to focus on if you are uh, creating a new project or you are creating a new file you see the plus icon here down below on my right hand side this plus icon you can just tap on it you see new project new file import folder import file okay i i just want to start um to create something i go to new project or if i'm creating a project a project the difference between a project and a file is that a project contain different files you know it's like um a large resource where you have other intermediate other um, little little file you can have a project about you are creating a website you have html css javascript 
or you want to add Python or PHP, okay? You have that as a project. You name your project. See, new project, project name. So let's just say, um, yeah, yeah, website. Can save. You see, this is my project. So in this project, I can open it. This project is empty. So it's, there's nothing in this project. So if I want to add a file, I go back to that plus icon, then new file. I click. Okay, I want to create an HTML file. I just say yeah dot html all right click on save you see a file has been created you can see so a file has been created it's empty i don't want to write anything there yet so just i'm just showing you around you see dot html i want to create another one let's say um new file here dot css created okay i want to create another new file what if i didn't put that dot all right let's just say yeah as a file will it work save you see file name should include an extension can you see that eg yeah.htm there you see they are they are, they are, they are teaching us yeah.html yeah.css yeah.js if i do not add and if an extension dot html dot css dot javascript is not going to work that's just the meaning of that so this cannot work Except maybe i say dot py dot python see it's created py is python you see css you see html these are their logos so that is that so just stop this video here all right